Ladies, today I have a very interesting case study to tell about a woman who started her modeling career at the age of 15. She continued to work hard until she became Victoria's Secret Angel in 2015. And the year after, she was selected to walk the runway with a $3 million bra. <laughs> she's not only beautiful, but she's also talented. We will be talking about Jasmine Tukes. My darlings, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, I am Dame Marie France and I help you become elegant and I help you become your dream self. So if you're interested in this type of videos, make sure to subscribe, like and share this video to someone who you think needs to start their elegance journey. For those of you that don't know Jasmine, I will tell you a little bit about her. Jasmine Tooks is a model who walked the runway with many great modeling companies. And one of those companies is Victoria's Secret. She's 32 years old. She's happily married to a businessman, Juan David. He's a media personality who works at Snapchat and also serves as a director of international markets. We have all seen her wedding pictures that went viral. I will have it on the screen so you guys can see. She's what I would love to call a part of the originals. And this is when I have to bring Sophia Ritchie in. This generation just found out about the Sophia Ritchie and the old money aesthetic these days. And they have chosen to give all the head title to Sophia Ritchie. No shade to her, but those are not her flowers to receive. For my ladies who have done their research, properly then you would understand where i'm coming in with all this ladies let me enlighten something to you let's go back in time let's say 1960s we have women like marilyn monroe kate moss sophia lauren woman who started the tree let's not forget coco chanel you will come to find out that this woman were known as the most elegant and prestigious of their time. I cannot associate this woman as old money because remember, it is back in the days. There is no such thing as old money or new money. There is only poor and the rich. This is why I cannot call them old money because then I am taking them back to the late 1800s where we have Queen Cleopatra. So I'm going to start the tree here with them. I'll call this group the originals. It involves Marilyn Monroe, Grace Kelly, Kate Moss, Sophia Lauren, you name them. They are the mothers of elegance. Then let's go up a little to 1981, where we have Princess Diana and Jackie Kennedy. You can name the rest, I'm just gonna stick with this for now, with Princess Diana and Jackie Kennedy who we would say they are the children of the originals. You know, they have inherited a lot of stuff, including beauty and talent. And with Jackie Kennedy, she was specifically known for her style and elegance. I hope I did not lose you, woman. Stay with me. I want to demonstrate something to you. If we move up a little to the early 2000s, we have Angelina Jolie, Sophia Vergara, and Anna Hathaway. Ladies, as time is moving, fashion is also revolving. Now it's 2018, we have Meghan Markle, Kate Middleton, Princess Leticia from Spain, and Jasmine Tooks, etc. You name them. Now it's 2023, we have Sophia Ritchie, who happened to inherit some attributes of all this woman, but she gets the title as she started elegant. She's the epitome of elegance. She's the definition of old money aesthetic. Ladies, just because you found out about this aesthetic now does not mean it was not here before or there weren't people who knew about it because there were and there were a lot of people. This is why I don't find a lot of older women entertaining this old money aesthetic thing because they know who the queens are. I understand that Sophia Ritchie is having the time of her life, but let's try to respect the people that were here before her. Ladies, I believe that we should have had a situation where questions were asked and compliments were made, but not giving someone a title that is too heavy. 
a title that has already been given to other people and i would like to make another example would be with megan markle i remember people did not say that she was the original princess people knew diana as the original princess and megan had characteristics of the original princess which was princess diana that's how it should have also been in this matter it is the same thing with beyonce we know Beyonce as the queen and if we were to take her daughter Blue Ivy in the situation and say that she is the queen, people would clearly just decline and say that no, she has characteristics. She is not the queen, she just has some features that make her look like the queen. She is not the queen, they is a queen. So please ladies, let's normalize giving flowers to who it belongs to. Jasmine Tux has inherited a lot of features such as beauty, fame, and money, wisdom, etc. What I love about Jasmine Tux is that she is one of those people that you can look at and just tell that she smells great. And I want you all beautiful women to inherit this future. You just look so put together and you just look like you take care of yourself and people can even tell from afar that you smell like heaven. That is what you should be aiming for, ladies. This type of people have their hygiene game on another level. Ladies, if you agree with what I'm saying, then I want you to subscribe, like, and let me know in the comment section if this video is helpful. Jasmine tends to focus more on minimalist outfit and earthly colors that complement her skin so well. The way that she presents herself makes her even more attractive. You can just look at her and tell that she's high maintenance. She's beautiful, she smiles a lot and that brings out the down-to-earth personality. I have also noticed that her voice is very low and sweet and when she talks she smiles and that is another feminine attribute to smile when you talk. It's, it makes people comfortable around you and people tend to trust you more. Jasmine Tux has chosen to keep her relationship out of the limelight, which I love because keeping your life private will be the reason you will stay winning. She does not go on social media and talk about her problems and all that. She seems very reserved in my point of view. There's really nothing more to say. And ladies, this is the best future. The fact that I can't even say much about her shows you how private her life is. What you know is what she wants you to know. Ladies, all these futures that I have mentioned, you have to at least inherit one or two or even all of them. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it for you all. If you need a part two, then you can always let me know in the comment section. And thank you so much, beautiful women, for 700 subscribers. I am so grateful, ladies. We are making such an improvement. Let's go up to 1,000 subscribers. And let's also watch the whole video so that you can give me watch hours. And ladies, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.